Hey everyone, it's Paul here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Facebook ads for lead generation. And this particular campaign is a webinar. So with this client, uh, the niche is uh, real estate and property investing education. And the strategy that we are using for them is to send people from Facebook ads going to a live webinar page. Then after the live webinar, to get people to sign up for a free consultation and what happens in the consultation is some people will buy a house and land package and when they uh, when people buy the house and land package uh, they also get the opportunity to get and sign up for the property management so this is the specific uh, strategy and this is the funnel for this client now with the Facebook ads uh, dashboard which I have here uh, I'm going to show you the, the setup, I'm going to show you some of the results, and I'm going to show you uh, some of the campaign settings that I did for this particular client for us to be able to get good results for their campaign, right? So this is the these are the KPIs that we have. So the cost per lead is $50 cost per lead, so that means someone who registered for the webinar, uh, they are willing to pay $50 cost per lead. And the total campaign budget for this client is $10,000 for this webinar, right? So we do a series of webinars for them, but for this particular campaign, uh, they gave me $10,000 budget. Now with the Facebook campaign structure, the top of the funnel, uh, the strategy that I'm using here is with the top of the funnel conversions campaign, and it's using a CBO setting and we are also using dynamic ads. So dynamic ads, I will show you later on what dynamic ads are and how to do dynamic ads. And with the bottom of the funnel campaign, uh, the campaign that I use is a reach campaign, which is this one, using CBO and dynamic ads. So CBO is a campaign budget optimization. So these are the KPIs and that's the exact funnel. So what I'm gonna do now is I will show you uh, how the campaign looks like and I will show you the, some of the settings and then I will show you uh, some of the results as well. Okay, so this is now the uh, ads manager of this uh, client. So what I'm going to do now is I will show you some of the campaign settings that I have for them and I'll show you some of the results as well and uh, I'll show you some of the uh, adjustments that we did for this particular client. So you can see on the results that based on the budget that they gave me it's ten thousand dollars budget and the amount spent total amount spent is nine thousand nine hundred twenty now with the cost per lead so the kpi is uh, our the cost per lead is fifty dollars cost per lead right and you can see it here that the cost per webinar registration we got the leads to uh, like forty four dollars cost per lead and on some of the actual campaigns uh, it's down to $39 per lead which is pretty awesome because the cost per lead is 50 this is our KPI and we got good results uh, for this particular client and the total webinar registrations that we got is uh, 225 so with the budget that they gave us uh, we did get the uh, 225 leads at $44 cost per lead so what I'm gonna do now is I will show you some of the uh, campaign settings that I did for this client so that you can see how it looks like when you start let's say uh, when you decide to you know like work with me and uh, if you need my help setting up your campaigns or running your campaigns on Facebook so the first campaign that we have which is the top of the funnel campaign uh, we call this as the conversions campaign and I use CBO and dynamic ads. So what I did on this particular setup is <clears throat> we have this one top of the funnel or TOF webinar conversion CBO dynamic and you can see that on this particular campaign uh, we have a total spend of uh, 6000 871 which is most where most of the money were uh, spent right and the way that I set up this campaign so if I click on edit so with uh, the settings I have the campaign budget optimization turned on and the daily budget that I put uh, is $200 so 
every now and then I change this when uh, during the duration of the campaign but uh, the standard like budget that I spent for this particular campaign is $200 right okay so with the settings in the ad set level you will see that I have uh, a total of eight ad sets and because I'm in, I've been testing different types of uh, creatives like uh, dynamic creatives uh, the combination of slideshow and videos and you will see that um, for most of the leads most of the leads came from this particular ad set right here which is targeting people who are interested in real estate so if I click on edit you will see that uh, and you will see that uh, the total spent is 3999 uh, which is uh, where most of the budget was spent and we got a total webinar registrations of 109 at a cost per lead of $36, right? So compared to the KPI of $50, that's a really good number. So that's why I kept that running. And you will notice that on some of the ad sets, uh, like for this example, right? So this real estate dynamic video, uh, we got three leads, but it's $51 cost per lead. So that means it's more expensive than what we want so I turn it off and then for some other ad sets you will see that for this for example real estate investing uh, we're getting leads for $23 uh, for $40 cost per lead so for this particular ad set you will see that uh, we got 23 leads or 23 registrations to the webinar but the cost per lead is $40 so for me that's still expensive so what I've done is uh, for this particular ad set where we have the real estate investing I have another ad set where it's called real estate investing and I'm using dynamic creatives and you you can see that uh, the I introduced this ad set later in the campaign or later in the you know the campaign period but you will notice that compared to the best converting ad set where we got 109 leads at $36 cost per lead this particular ad set we got seven registrations to the webinar at $27 cost per registration which is pretty awesome right because you can see that uh, it's improving and uh, we're getting uh, much much better results with regards to the targeting if I show you the real estate targeting so this client is based in Australia so you can see that uh, the people that we are targeting are based in Brisbane Melbourne Perth and Sydney which are the major cities in Australia, age 30 to 65. I'm targeting all genders. And I have a simple targeting where, you know, people who are in the business in industry of real estate. And that's the most simple targeting that I, I created for them. And it's all automatic placements. And I'm using a one day click conversion window. And that's really the targeting that I implemented for, the, for this client. And then I duplicated the ad set. So this is the other ad set that I use for this campaign. You will see that I'm targeting the major cities in Australia, 30 to 65, all genders. And one ad set or one interest targeting, which is real estate investing, automatic placements, and then I'm using one day click. So pretty much that's the setup. Really basic, really simple setup. So now if we go to the uh, ads level, so I can show you some of the example of the ads. Uh, you will you will recall that I mentioned earlier that I'm using dynamic ads. So to create the dynamic ads, let me just quickly go back to the ad set level so I can quickly show you what the dynamic or how to set up the dynamic ads. So for example, that this is your ad set. If you click on edit, okay, so in the ad set level you will see that we have this option dynamic creative so all you need to do is turn this on and it will allow you to use dynamic creatives in the ads level so now if I go to the dynamic or to the ads level I will quickly show you what the images look like so if I click on edit okay so these are the examples of uh, some of the images that I use so I have uh, image 1 image 2 and image 3 and then I also have uh, different types of uh, text so I have uh, text number one and I also have text number two so these are the options that you will get when you turn on the dynamic creatives right so you can see that I can split test two different ad copy and I'm testing uh, 
uh, I'm testing one, two, three, four, five. So I'm testing five different uh, headlines as well. I also tested uh, five different uh, call to actions as you can see here. All right. So what will happen is uh, we have all these combinations of different images and different texts. And in the breakdown, you will see that if I go to the images, okay, and if you go to the results, so you will see that uh, the overall campaign performance is, if you recall in our KPI, our cost per lead, our target cost per lead is $50, but for this particular campaign, right, all the images are uh, generating good results, right? So there's no... Uh, there's no clear winner and there's no uh, losers on this specific campaign with regards to the images because our KPI is $50 and these images are getting an average of $36 cost per lead. So image number two is $37 per lead. Image number three is $34 per, uh, per registration. And image number four is $31 per registration, which is pretty awesome. And then if I go to the uh, headline, so I told you that I'm using all these different headlines, right? So with with the headlines, it's the same scenario. Okay, so there's no clear uh, clear winner. There's no loser as well. Everything is within the KPIs. So average cost per lead is 36. Uh, volume of leads came from this specific uh, headline. And I got $38 cost per registration. This one is $20 per registration, although the volume is not there, right? Uh, there, there's another one right here, which is $51 cost per registration at $39 per registration, right? So 51, uh, 51 registrations at $39 per registration, which is pretty awesome. So I also tested the call to action button. You will see it here that uh, with the call to action button, uh, the, the losing call to action button is the sign up so it's costing $50 so it's a bit high right but compared to the subscribe button it's 97 registrations at $36 per registration so those are the results that I got for this particular client now if I go to the uh, let me go ahead and show you the retargeting campaign so with the retargeting campaign I use a different uh, objective so normally when uh, when you are running a retargeting campaign, a lot of people are focusing on the conversions campaign. But for this client, I use a different campaign setting and the objective that I use for this campaign, you will see it here, the objective is a rich campaign because I know that uh, we only have a small audience. So instead of running a conversions campaign, I, I'm using a, a rich campaign. I'm using a campaign budget optimization at $60 per day budget. And then if I go to the ad set level, okay, you will see that majority of the leads came from the past engagers 365 days. And uh, we got 15 registrations at $42 per registration. Uh, the site-wide visitors 180 days we only got one registration so most of the budget was spent in the passing engagers 365 days and i'm also using dynamic ads with this particular uh, ad set so if i go to the uh, ads level so it's the same settings right so if i click on uh, the breakdown i have different images so you'll see i have three different images that i'm using and with in terms of the results, uh, image number one is a clear winner because it's $29 cost per registration. Image number two is the second because it has eight registrations at $35 per registration. And the optimization that I did for this particular campaign is that with image number three, remember, our cost per lead target is $50 cost per lead. And with image number three, the cost per lead is 181. So I, they, I actually turned that off. I, I deleted that image from this campaign. So that's how it works, right? And then with the headline, I use two different headlines and uh, the clear winner between the two 
is this uh, first headline where we got seven registrations at $36 per registration. The second headline, eight registrations at $48 per registration, which is getting close to the $50, right? And I'm also testing the call. I also tested the call to action. So you can see it here. So all the call to actions are within the KPI. So that's how it works, right? So that is the setup that I did for this particular client. Just make it simple and uh, really easy to manage type of uh, campaigns. And overall, we got, you know, 225 registrations at their webinar at $44 per registration with a total spent of 9920 So that's what I did for the client and uh, the client is happy with the results and we are also happy with the results and that's exactly uh, what you would expect when you start working with us. Now if you would like me to help you with your digital marketing, uh, Facebook ad, Instagram ads, Google AdWords, all these different channels, if you would like me to look into your business and help you uh, what I'm going to do is I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can go to this page where it says case study video reveals how to exponentially grow and scale your business using multi-channel behavioral advertising. So uh, if you would like me to uh, like show you how to scale your business using multi-channel behavioral advertising, that means we're not only limited to Facebook. You can go to this page and you can see more information about what I do and how I help my uh, clients scale their business to the next level, right? So in when you go to this page, you can get more information about some of my clients' results and some of my clients in here and the kind of results that they are getting, right? And if you would like to if you would like to learn more how I do things, right? You can go and click this button that says click here for instant access and then put your email address and yes, send me the link to the free training. So what will happen is it will take you to the next page where I will give you a, it's a short presentation, it's a free video training, and I will show you how exactly or what exactly am I doing to get results for my clients. As you can see in the example right here, right? This particular client right here, they spent two, 267000 on Facebook ads and they generated 934000 in revenue with Facebook and Instagram ads. Now with this particular client right here, they spent 145000 and they generated $1.08 in revenue. And the advertising channel that we use for them is Google AdWords, right? And we also have these other results from other clients. So if you would like to have a like a one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me, and if you would like me to help you grow and scale your business, using what I call the multi-channel behavioral advertising. Uh, what I would like to do is invite you and uh, go to the description of this video and click the link, go to this page and click this button, put your email address and click yes, send me the link to the free training. So open the email that I will send you. Then inside the email, there's a link, click that link and it will take you to a video and I will let you, I will give you more information about uh, the things that I do for my clients. And if you would like to book an appointment with me for a one on one strategy session, you can do that on the next page, right? So if you have any questions for me, please put them in the comment section below. And I look forward to connecting with you. And I look forward to speaking with you regarding how I can help you uh, scale and grow your business using multi-channel behavioral advertising. So thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you learned something from this video, make sure that you put them in the comments so I can uh, get some feedback from my subscribers. So again, I will put the link in the description of this video so you can go to this page, click this button, put your email address and yes, send me the link to the free training. Watch the free training and if you like what you see, if you want me to help you grow and scale your business using multi-channel behavioral advertising, go ahead and book an appointment and uh, I will get in contact with you and let's jump on a one-on-one -on -one Skype call or Zoom call and let's talk about your business. So thanks for watching. I wish you all the best and God bless.